You might want to take line one. Uh, okay. Hello, line one? Yes, hi, Lady Di. How's everything? Oh, my gosh, Lady Di. As I live and breathe. How are you? Okay, pretty good. This is a... Um, I, I just want to let you know that me and Marion... Yeah. Uh, who is this, first of all? My name is Sam Roberts. I'm the host of After Opie and Anthony Live. Sam Roberts, okay. Yes. Sam Roberts. i yes. got to write that down. Please do. Because I have no idea... I have no idea who you are. Well, I'm a professional uh, broadcaster, so not to worry. You're in good hands. Very good. Um, I just wanted to let you know that we met Ron Jeremy yesterday. You did? Well, I'm glad that you're calling. Now, Lady Di, it's been, uh, it's been years since you've been on the Open Anthony Show. Many years. Yeah, How long has it been? Uh, oh, my God. Ever since 2001 or two or something like that. Right. And uh, why now would you call and announce to the world that you met Ron Jeremy? Well, because well, well, there's two reasons. Because I miss those guys, okay. Yeah. yeah. And I don't have the XM satellite radio, so I can't even listen to them. The the one that has the XM satellite is Marion. Right. Not you, Lady yeah. Die. Yeah. No. 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 I don't have it yet. No. I don't have it yet. What are you waiting um, for? Uh, I don't know what I'm waiting for. I I have no idea. Now, Lady Die and Marion, you two are, of course. We actually talked about you a few days ago. You were the ones that uh, showed up to the MTV Video Music Awards and interviewed people many years ago. Yeah. Was that fun? That was us. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, no, actually, it wasn't the MTV Music Video Awards. No. I believe it was the VMAs. Right. Okay, okay. I was wrong. It was not the MTV Video Music Awards. It was instead the VMAs. The, the VMA Awards. Right. Very similar to the uh uh, MTV. Right, right, right. It was Awards. that's something you totally know. different. So and what's what's going on, Marion? Uh, I mean, Lady Di, in your life right now? Oh, nothing much. I still live in Elizabeth. You do. I I mean, I've been here for a long time. Now, which one was homeless? Was it you or Marion? Me, me. That was me. That was you. Are you homeless to this day? No, I'm not homeless anymore. No, oh, congratulations on that. You got you got yourself a house? Uh, no, I don't have a house. Wow. <laughs> a little apartment or something? An apartment, yeah. That's good. Something modest to remind you of your roots. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. It's it's, it's just a it's just a nice, really uh, comfortable apartment, and I live with my roommate. Are you uh, your roommate? Is this a romantic roommate? No. Any men in your life? Mm, no, except for my son. Oh well. And so at some point there was a man in your life. My son is twenty two years old. Your son is twenty two. Now, wasn't there uh, yeah. some issues between you and your son at one point? Yeah, but that was a long time ago. That's a, well, it's been a long time since we spoke. Yeah, I know. Well, that, that was a while ago. That was a while ago. There's no more issues in my life right now about that. So what are you doing with your life, Lady Di? Um, nothing much, really. Just watching TV and hmm. hanging out. And, uh, watching television and hanging out. You, are, do you have a job? or? Not right now. Why not? I'm in between jobs. Oh, I see. Just getting the resume out there? Uh, resume. Right. Nah, no. Nah, no, you don't. Not you don't. yet, anyway. Nah, still working on the resume, then. That's the phase we're in right now? Yeah, no. Uh, mm. Marion, Marion had the same job for so many years. Right. Well, that, yeah, but that doesn't do much for you, does it? No, she's still, a, she's still a best friend of mine. Right, yeah, but still, I mean, if your best friend has a job, it doesn't make your life any easier. No, 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 I'm fine. I'm fine. Are you still drinking? You still having, you still knocking back a few drinks? No, just trying to find out what's going on this in your is life. All stuff that's been discussed on the air. You know, hanging out, watching, watching TV. What's your, what's your favorite TV show to watch? Uh, my favorite one. Your favorite one. The monkeys. The mo You watch the monkeys. Okay. What? You watch the monkeys. Is that? Is that what, are they, what is he laughing at? No, I wasn't laughing. I just it was a strange response. Yeah. Huh? Are you still are you still drinking every now and then? Yeah, once in a while. Once in a great while. Who's to say, right? Yeah, no, just beer. So what do you Not do? What stuff or anything? Just, just beer. What do you do for an income? Well, right now. Yeah. Um, for the income. The income, the money, the uh, the beer money, as it were. Uh, uh, um, I, I really don't want to mention this. Go ahead. All right. Um, for the income right now, right. I'm living off of my dad's money. Oh, did your dad pass away? Yes, he did. I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, wait, don't please don't tell O and A that. I won't. It's between uh -huh. you. 
It's between you and I, Lady Di. It's, this is an intimate conversation. Right, right. So that's the only income I have right now. Okay. And how long is that going to last you? And, and uh, my roommate's money, too. My roommate, you know. You're leeching off your roommate? Huh? You're leeching off your roommate? I'm leeching off my roommate? All right. Well, if that's what you're doing, that's what you're no, doing. I'm not. Well, I'm asking you. You just said you were. No, I'm not doing that to him. Hmm. How, well, then, I mean, how are you living off of his money? He pays the rent here. Oh, I see. How'd you get that deal? I met him a long time ago, about maybe about, I don't know. How many years, Bill, do we know each other? She banging him? Is about, that... about eight years ago. So is that the thing? As long as, you, uh, as long as you're liberal with the blowjobs, free rent? Wait, excuse me? No, I'm asking. It's a question. That's not oh, meant to be offensive. We, oh. don't, we don't do stuff like that. No, no, no. It's no, just no, no, no. free rent and television and beer. Yeah, for now, anyway. For please, now. Please, do me a favor. Do not tell Owen Avis because it's going to be all over the air. Yeah, no, no. I mean, you're on the air. You called the show. No, no I'm on the air right now? <laughs> yes, it's after Opie and Anthony Live. I told you that. We told you. e told you that before you came on. He, oh, my. He I'm screamed. Right now. The e rock screened the call, and he said, Sam's doing the show, and then I picked you up. Oh, my goodness. It's all right. It's just talking and catching up with old friends. Yeah, yeah. I'm <laughs> now, now. the weird thing, don't even worry about it, Lady Di. I mean, we're just catching up, figuring out what's going on in your life. And actually, I got a text from Anthony, of all people. Anthony from Opie and Anthony, who writes, ha, 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 her dad's money, she's a fucking bum. <laughs> Oh, get out yeah. of here. No, that's what he said. Yeah, on the text message. He's probably just joking, though. I don't see an LOL, but I think he's just kidding. Oh, my goodness. You saw a ha, ha, ha. Right. He wrote ha, ha, ha. He's just joking around. We're all just catching up and having a good time. So why don't you get out there in the workforce? I will. Mm. I will pretty soon. What do you, what do you, what are your, what's your skill set? Huh? What's what? Your, your skill set. My skills right now? Yeah, where are you gonna where are you gonna start a like cash register? Cash register. You're gonna look for a nice uh, brick and mortar store that needs uh, some drunk lady to cashier. <laughs> no, 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 no. Um, I just figured that I would be a cash register person at a liquor store. Tell me <laughs> that one, so this way he can text you back. Okay, well, he's probably listening. Cash register person. At least you know the lingo and everything. Why yeah. Why is it taking you so long to get a cash register person job? I don't understand. Uh, no problem. No problem. I, I have no idea, because every, um, every store that I go to, everything that I go to, they either have the computers, um, you have to sit there for 45 minutes, um, right. You know, to fill out applications and stuff like that. You don't have that kind of time? Why is the monkeys on? <laughs> They're on on the weekends. Oh, oh. So during the week, you, couldn't you, you take? Could even, you could even tell Anthony that one too. Right. Okay. Well, good. I mean, he'll really get a kick out of that. And if you're listening, the monkeys are on on the weekend. Now, yeah, the and, question is. And during the week is the Partridge Family. Of course it is. The question is, if you have time to watch shows that are literally thirty and forty years old. Do you not have 45 minutes out of your day to fill out a job application? <laughs> yeah, I do. I do. It's just something you haven't gotten around to yet. How long has it been since your last job? Uh, about Maybe about four years ago right now. Four years. Okay. And you just, you're kind of been just, what, uh, dusting up the resume since then? Um, early retirement. Let's just put it that way. Early retirement. Well, her last job was working at ShopRite or King Cullen. Did you work? Where did you work? King Cullen? No, that's not me. Now, it wasn't you. You were getting bad groceries? My last cash register job was at Dunkin' Donuts. Oh, well, that was a silly thing for you to say, Eric. No. No, you don't think so? No, at one point, she a... she got fired from a supermarket. Did you get fired from a supermarket, Lady Di? Um, Lady Di, maybe you did. I, I, I was let go from a supermarket after two weeks of working there. <laughs> and... and, and Right. Right. Shop right. See? Yeah. See, that was silly, Eric. King Colin, that's insane for you to make those I accusations. Oh. I don't even know where that is. Yeah. I mean, that's great. Eric is nuts to say you got fired from a King Colin. So when you got fired from the shop, right? Why? Why after two weeks uh, did they let you go? Card. It was a credit card saying that I did and try to steal some money. 
make any difference. No, I didn't steal any money. So what, what was the credit card She's thing? She's stealing the carbon no, no, papers. No. Were you stealing carbon papers? No, I was not stealing carbon papers. I know. It's a ridiculous state. Eric, come on. Why? Uh... No, it was, it was something dumb. What was it? Was it was only up to two weeks of work in there. So... And I didn't like the job anyway. But anyway, that's besides the point. Well, yeah, I mean, nobody likes the job. Like, a great job would be to sit at home, drink beer, and watch the monkeys. But the thing is, it's not a productive way to be a member of society. You know. Listen, the, I didn't call up to tell you what my resume says. Did you ever see that movie Pursuit of Happiness with Will Smith and Will Smith Jr.? No, The Pursuit of Happiness? It's no. like, you should see it, Lady Di. It would really inspire you because this is a guy who was homeless like you. I don't know if he was, like, you know, blowing dudes and all that stuff, but he was definitely homeless. Yeah, some of your habits might have been different, but but Will Smith was also homeless, and he ends up, he gets off his ass, he gets a job, and then he's not, I, no, you know. No, 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 I, re I, remember the, I remember what movie you're talking about. Right, right. Like, you just seem to have mastered the middle part, you know, the kind of, the bummy part. Oh, my God, I wish I had XM Satellite. Well, yeah, I mean, you, I know no, you. I wish I could just She's got her dad's money. Right she could get one. That's one of those things, though. Like, you wish you had a Sirius XM satellite radio, sure. But one way you could do that is if you would, you know, stop watching the Partridge family and just go be a cashier person. You could use that money for, for a radio. No? That's true. Have you ever seen the movie American Psycho? No. You remind me of the character Al that he meets in the alleyway. I never saw that movie before. Why don't you get a fucking job, Al? Uh, 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 you know? Look, look, there's no need for foul language. You're right. But it is an XL channel, and you may not realize that without the subscription. I know. I, I already know that. Did you know Opie and Anthony are podcasting? Yes. You did not know that. You're lying to me. How would you have figured that out? How long did you know that they were podcasting for? Podcasting. <laughs> that's, that's exactly right. Yes. Wait a minute. Hold on. I uh -huh. said broadcasting. Oh, oh, of course. The slip of the tongue on my part. Podcasting. Podcasting? What's that? I know. It's one of those newfangled things. Don't even worry about it, Lady Di. Nothing to do with the cash register. <laughs> so so you're not, uh, you don't have to blow this guy that you live with for the free rent, huh? No. How does he let you live there for free, then? He likes me a lot. When was the last time you were sexually active? Huh? During the monkeys. The <laughs> when was the last time you were sexually active? Do I really have to? Do I really have to answer that question? Well, I mean, it would, it's just a nice thing. We're playing catch up. Around four years ago. Four years ago, and what was the circumstance around that? Oh, nothing. No, it was something. I mean, it was a no, sexual no, no, activity. No, 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 nothing, nothing, nothing. It's nothing. Don't worry. Don't even worry about it. Was it was it during the time where you were without home? No. Did you was there sexual activity while you were homeless? Maybe a little. I believe there was. A little bit. Lady Di, we're all friends here. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on a second. Sure. Yeah, we're all friends here. Right. You, you and the other guy and about ten thousand other people that are listening to the show. Nobody wow. listens. Nobody listens to this show. You're grossly under uh, uh, overestimating my popularity. Yeah, I was a little bit back then, yes. A little, it's passing out blowies a little bit. Whatever. Whatever it is, whatever the kids are calling it. How often would you say while you were homeless were you blowing other homeless guys? I don't know. What are you talking about? I'm asking. No. You know, while you were homeless. I mean, because if you're homeless, to blow a homeless guy is just like, well, I'm homeless too. It's not like it's that big of a deal. No. No? There was no homeless people in my life when I was homeless. You were blowing guys with homes? Yeah, whatever. Oh, I see. No, Maybe no, 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 you know, no, trying no, to get no, yourself no. out of a situation, you know, use that mouth, right? Oh, uh, no, I did not. That's ridiculous. I know. It's offensive that I even bring no. it up. So tell me about four years ago. What about four years ago? Four what years happened? Ago? You met a man? Well, yeah. And uh, and, and And walk me through it. Nothing much more to say. Well, no, because you said, I mean, meeting a man is not. That's it. Well, I'm not worried about it not working out after. I'm worried about the sexual activity. I'm trying to uh, titillate our audience God. right now. It's none of anybody's business. How old a lady are you, if you don't mind me asking? I'm 51 years old. 51 years old, 51 years young, according to me. So you're 47. Um, you meet a man. 49, 50, 51. 
Yeah. 47 years old. You meet a man. This is a uh, – you're, you're recently with home. You were just went through a period where you were homeless. And what happens? Are you uh, – do you go all the way, home run, sexual intercourse? You know what? I don't remember, okay? <laughs> I think you'd remember. if it, I mean, you, you'd you have to remember which orifice was penetrated. e Oh, will you stop already? e anybody's business. When you're with a woman, mm-hmm. you know, and you don't mind me asking you something intimate, do you? Depends. When you're with a woman, you're going to remember which orifice you penetrate, correct? I would hope so. I would think so. I think I would. So which orifice was it <laughs> that, pen, that, that was penetrated on you, Lady Di? Oh, you guys are funny. And, I can't believe... You come on after Opie and Anthony. That's right. This is the after show. We just kind of uh, we tie up all the loose ends. Okay. You know. Well, I just I, I the only reason I called you is to let you know that me and Marion went over to meet Ron Jeremy. Okay, and and is that no sexual activity there? Huh? No sexual activity there. No. How was that? Where did where did you meet Ron Jeremy? At a liquor store. At, of course, you were probably there anyway, right? Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. Just getting all. I was gonna show up there anyhow. Getting all fucked up. Um, so. Oh, I was not fucked up. Well, you were on your way though. Why else would you go to a liquor store? Am I right? I went there to meet Ron Jeremy. He's doing a signing at a liquor store. Yes. He's doing a signing at a lick her store. You get what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, a lick her store. Okay. You get it right. I got gotcha. you. Lick her box. I gotcha. You know what I mean? Yeah. Anyway. So what happens? You meet Ron Jeremy. Does he? Uh, what does he call you? Piece of ass. What does he say about Marion? Um, he he really didn't say anything much about anybody. He just uh, was there to promote his rum liquor. The the rum rum liquor. Well, I just I got rum, I yeah. just got the funniest text from Ant. You know Anthony Cumia from Opie and Anthony. Wait till you hear this because because Anthony is no of course known Lady Die forever. She was she's been with the show. She used to do the WNEW show forever. She, and you were on Sirius XM a few times with, uh, with the show. Ant just texted me. He's been listening in the car. In the past 10 minutes, all the feelings of wanting to choke this cunt face have come back. Isn't that funny? Oh, come on. Isn't that, isn't that funny? Not to me, it isn't. So how is it? How, you and Marion are still hanging oh, out then? Man. Well, no, okay. I mean, I could see where he would, where he would feel that way. You and Marion are still hanging out with each other then? Yeah. Have you ever been in like a, a threesome situation with her? Oh, no, no, no. No, that's no, just, that's no, ridiculous. No. Nah. D- 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 isn't Marion a little fed up with your bullshit, though? W- what bullshit? Well, she's got a job. Obviously, she's trying to better herself. And you're just sitting there drinking and watching reruns all day and being like, yeah, I'll get there someday. Luckily, my dad's dead, so I got all this cash. I, you know, You know, I may... Benefit from watching reruns one of these days. Well, I doubt that. Why? What would possibly benefit you from watching reruns? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I mean, I have no idea. I just love watching reruns these days right now. How long ago did your dad pass? Oh, he's been uh, he's been gone since September. Since September, and how much how much how much of that cash do you have left? Well, um, I have no idea. I don't think I should tell anybody this. Do you think he's looking down from heaven right now, proud that his daughter is oh, no. is spending no, no. his life savings on beer so she can sit at home and watch no, the monkeys? No. He's, not, he's not proud. He's not proud of me. He watched you blow those oh, homeless yeah. guys. He wasn't what? even dead. He was, he, he was, but he was watching. No. The truth comes out, Lady Di. What? Uh, can I ask you a question? Are of, you live right now on the on the radio? Well, that's exactly right. We're on the Opie and Anthony channel, XM 103, Sirius 206. You knew that, though. Later on? Huh? Are you going to repeat later on? Yeah, there'll be a repeat. It's on uh, right oh, after the boy. O&A replay. Yeah, this, this show will be on three times today. Really? Yeah. Okay. I'm sure Mary's going to hear this. Does she listen? Does she have Sirius XM? Huh? What? Does Marion have yeah, Sirius she XM? Does. She does. She, she has XM satellite. Yeah, well, that's the same. Co- Sirius XM. That's the company now. Oh, boy. Oh, All boy. Right. I know. It's a little crazy, huh? I never thought. I just wanted to leave you a message to tell you that we met Ron Jeremy. Well, here's the question that I'm wondering. Why the what? fuck would Opie and Anthony care at all that you met Ron Jeremy? I don't know. I just figured I'd let you guys know. Right. Yeah, no. I'm sure. Leave you a message. I'm sure that they don't. They wouldn't care at all. 
you know. Okay. Because what? Because there's no story behind it. You know, if you'd let him rail you or whatever, then that would be a story. But it's just I like. Did ask him a, wait, I asked Ron Jeremy if he was married, and he said no. <laughs> that is a terrible, terrible story. That is a horrible celebrity oh, interaction. If you want to find out, I did ask him. You, no, that's not. Of course, he's not married. He fucks all the time. It's a terrible interaction. It's just, it was a bad question. You had one question for Ron Jeremy. That was a terrible question to ask him, and it's a terrible story to repeat. It's not oh, interesting. Now you're mad at me now. I'm not mad, but I just want you to know that that is not, not oh my God. an wait interesting until, story. Wait until we come up to the studio. We, when are you coming up to the studio? If um, you are coming up probably, to the studio, you've got to make yeah. sure you have better anecdotes than that, because that was horrible. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, no, it's okay, it, but it was horrible. All right, I'm I'm so sorry about that. Don't, I didn't mean to be horrible. Don't even worry about it. <laughs> it's not funny. It was terrible. No, no, no. no. I, all right. Well, I did ask him, and he said no. Now stop and repeating said, it. It's okay. a terrible story. Are you drunk? No. Maybe a little buzzed. Maybe well, a little. You think I'm drunk at ten uh, uh, twenty to eleven in the morning? No, because you're an alcoholic. Okay, I'm an alcoholic. Okay, well that's good. I mean, you're there. Now we just yeah. got to get you off of it. Okay, all hey, right. Partridge um, family starting. She's got to go. Yeah, is Partridge no, no, family? No, no. Partridge family doesn't start until 4 o'clock this afternoon. Oh, wow. So you got a lot of time to not apply for jobs then. Oh, my goodness me. Yeah, I know. It's crazy, huh? Yeah, it's nuts. Oh, wow. Right. <laughs> I, just got a, I just got a really interesting text. Can I read it to you? What? Go With, ahead. Okay, it's actually from uh, Anthony Cumia from the Opie and Anthony show. What's the matter with him? What's well, wrong with him? No, he's just listening to the show. He enjoys the after show and some of the guests I have on. And he's just, uh, he writes into me via text. This segment reminds me of why her husband threw himself in front of a train. That was not my husband, first of all. Are you sure? Because Anthony says it was your husband and he oh, threw himself in front not, of a train. Hold on. First of all, that was not my husband. Who was it? He was a friend of mine that I used to live with and we had a son together. My son right now is 22 years old. Oh, I see. That's your the, your, your baby's daddy, and what he <laughs> he gave no, himself the uh, he gave himself the old heave ho off a platform, huh? Yeah. Well, he wasn't with me back then. Right. I mean, that had to be. Do you take responsibility for that? No. I would imagine it was no, mostly. I don't, I don't I, really. I don't. He wasn't with me back then. I would imagine a lot of it was uh, probably. Your fault. It was not my fault. Don't you think he was thinking back and be like, oh, my God, the shit I no. have to deal with from this woman. No, 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 She's no. talking about Ron Jeremy and just these horribly boring stories. What is the matter with you, Mr. Sam? I'm just telling you. Roberts that, is my that last thing name. Was not my, that, uh, Roberts, Mr. Roberts. That's right. Uh, that, that part was not my fault. Okay. We were broken up already two or three years. I see. I, and still, and he, even with know, a two or three year buffer, it wasn't enough. He said, I cannot be on this planet as long as that woman is walking around. No, he did not say that. And then you ended up blowing some homeless guys. You think no, he was watching from that. heaven, flat as a pancake, looking down from the clouds oh my God. at the mother of his child know. blowing homeless wait, guys wait to I try to find a couch to sleep on? Why? I can't wait. Wait. Why? Because I would like to tell you off in person. There's no reason for you to tell me off. You called and we've been catching up. Yeah, I know that. But the only reason I called was to leave a message to say that I was... But do you understand that Jeremy. Opie and Anthony couldn't give two shits about what porn stars you're talking to? I mean, you didn't even have a good story. If you had blown Ron Jeremy or taken it in the ass from him... Then Opie and Anthony would be like, wow, that's really interesting. But not this. Not to just say, oh, yeah, I was in the liquor store again without a job, and oh I met Ron Jeremy. Oh, my God. You know? Yeah. You know. Yeah, I know. Hey, I actually got just got another text. Do you watch uh, uh, the David Letterman show, Late Night with David Letterman? What about it? You've heard of the show. Yeah. The head writer... And executive producer Justin Stangle just texted me. This is true. Do you want to hear what he said? He's listening to the show. 
Do you, well, you want... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Sure. Tell me the other texts were not true. No, no, no. The, te- the all these texts are true. Okay, go ahead. But uh, I have to tell you, he wants. To, he has a question for you. Justin Stengel uh, wants to know: Were you watching the monkeys when the father of your uh, son killed no. himself when he jumped in front no. of a train? Was there a monkeys episode on that you were watching? No. No. No, there wasn't. And who texted you that? That was Justin Stengel uh, from the David Letterman show. He was just curious. Some of the some of the holes. I feel like I've, I've, I wasn't filling in all the holes for everybody. Wait, hold on. Let yeah. me write that down. Oh. Do you hear what song is playing right now? Yeah, I saw. I, I know. I hear, I what hear song it. is it? I, I'm not as familiar with the monkeys. It's the last train of Clarksville. What's the connection here? He jumped in front of the last train of Clarksville. What's the connection here with 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 you that this song might be playing? How's Marion doing anyway? Are you guys still Are you guys still social? Fine. Yeah. You guys are still social it's together. Yesterday. Isn't she disappointed in you though? Oh, kind of, yeah. Yeah, I mean, she's just watching you just kind of completely waste your life. How come you don't stop by the studio more often? Um, we will. Don't worry about it. Hmm. Just so like, can go over there and kick your ass. Were you waiting online for an iPhone by any chance? Uh, what? No, I'm just asking. It's, it's just a question that made no sense. There's no reason for you to want to kick my ass. I'm sitting here giving you advice. That's what Wednesdays are for, giving advice. Yeah, I know, I know. Get okay. a job, get a job. Why don't you get a fucking get a job, job, Lady Di? You know? I will, I will. I don't believe that, you know. Uh, yeah, you don't believe it. Okay. Yeah. Why did you get fired from the supermarket? Something about a credit card. It no, I remember that. Ago, I forgot about it. I don't think you forgot about it. What did you do with the credit card? I didn't do anything with the credit card. Well, then, then why would the they... customer f- did. Why, why were you fired because the customer had a credit card? Because I sent the customer over to customer service, and um, I could be honest about this one. This yeah, is what happened. Um, she paid part cash, part credit card. I took the cash. I put it in my till, everything like that, and I till. told her to go over to customer service and pay the rest of it. Instead, she walked out with, with a lot of groceries. So I got fired after that. Oh, that's good. You have her, you have, do you have this uh, phone number, Iraq? The who? Hers? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So are you interested in making a return to the Opie and Anthony show? Is that what this is all yes. about? Yes, I will. What type of things yes, would I you will. like to do? But I, but I, I don't want to I don't want to talk about my past. No. I don't want to talk about me being, you know, homeless or whatever. Right. You were. How long were you homeless for? We won't talk about it. We will not talk about it. How long were you homeless for? And then we're not going to talk about oh, it. Oh, boy. How long was it? 2004. Yeah. 2006, uh, maybe uh, maybe two years. Yeah, if I was homeless for two years, I probably wouldn't spend much time watching reruns after I stopped being homeless. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. After, after that, after that, after 2006, that's when I became unhomeless. How'd you do that? You just found the right dick? <laughs> yeah, whatever, whatever you say. How did you become unhomeless? I don't understand. Well, I met the right kind of person. Dave was the dick. That she doesn't fuck. No, no, no. It wasn't, no, it's, no, it wasn't no. this guy that you're with now. Yeah, he's still here. That's the guy who got you unhomeless? Yeah. And you never fucked him? What? You never fucked him? Not really, no. A little bit, though. No. Here and there. <laughs> yeah. What's he okay. packing? What's so he just, packing? Just, just in Spangville. What? Um, what? <laughs> What's he packing? This guy that you, this guy that you're roommates with. Tell me how big his penis is. I don't know. You remember? No. All right. Listen. What? Lady Die. What would you like to do on the Opie and Anthony show when you make your big return? Um, I would like to talk to them. Okay. Well, so far you have not been very interesting with uh, after Opie and Anthony live. So I just don't know if that will work out. Is there anything else? Do my Oliver Hardy routine again? Will that work? What, how does that go? Well, I'm gonna have my my hair is gonna be a little bit shorter than right. what it is right now. My hair is kind of long right now. Oh, good. I'm uh, glad for the backstory. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, I used to do that thing with the uh, with the mustache with the Oliver Hardy thing. Right. Yeah. Well, I mean that sounds I was, I was not good. Pretty good at that. Yeah, that doesn't sound good. What else? Is, what else you got? I don't know. Hmm. 
All right. Well, uh, it sounds great. It sounds like you're on the road to recovery. Do you have any sort of job options that you're looking at? Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm thinking about, uh, you know, going over to uh, uh, some places and applying for a cashier job, just like I said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you, tell me again about this Ron Jeremy story. So you go into the liquor store. Right. And then, and then what happens? I got to meet Ron Jeremy. I know, but tell me exactly how the interaction went down. Oh, he said hello to me. I don't think anybody didn't see that one coming. I thought that was clear a mile away. <laughs> Lady Di makes her big return to the Opie and Anthony show. It's somewhat, at least to the Opie and Anthony channel. Lady Di was a fixture here for so long. Was that too long? Nah, not long enough. You had to just keep her on. You could have gone another five minutes and ended the show without her knowing. Oh, oh yeah, and just leave her on. Well, hopefully she'll call back. Uh, holy Toledo. And all those texts were absolutely true, by the way. Uh...